Nice job, man. Thank I'll you. I'll just start by one word reaction for this film. Wow. Thank it's you. It's fantastic. Uh, you screened this at South by Southwest. Was that the premiere? Yes, it was. Really? We'd only finished it like a month before that as well. And But some of my colleagues saw it in Austin and they said, Dave, when you see this, you're going to be blown away. They were, they it exceeded expectations. Oh, that's great. Thank you. So how long have you been working on this? I think you've been working on it for quite some time. I mean, the germ of the idea goes back as far as like 22 years ago when I was like 21. But, you know, back then I wasn't really a film director, so it wasn't like I really, I hadn't even been to the United States at that point, but I had this idea about like a action movie set to music and it was inspired by listening to like rock songs or like, you know, music that I liked and imagining sequences to go with them. So in a sense, that's where me and Baby are kind of somewhat similar is that we're both obsessed by music and use music as motivation. So then I came up with the idea of the character, of the getaway driver that can't operate at his fullest without the right music playing. Well, I was hoping it was that and not that you were robbing banks because we're on camera, they're gonna get you, bud. Uh, joke. I have <laughs> never robbed a bank, I swear. You mentioned the fact that it is so music intensive. How did that play into, uh, some of your cast told me that when you sent them the script, you sent them headphones and to play the music along, which they thought was really cool. Never happened before, so that's true. Yeah, basically, I mean, you know, with the script, you really had to get a sense of the music along with it. It was important that, like, you didn't want to just read the script. It's like the music is so important to it that we actually made this kind of fancy app where you could sort of press a button and hear the song next to the script. That's really cool. What were the challenges, though, to film this? Because how many cars did you go through, by the way? I think in the course of the production, there's something like 150 cars that we use. I mean, the toughest part of it, obviously, is like the car chases themselves. They're, like incredibly painstaking, like requires the enormous efforts of every part of the crew. It's such a big deal for locations and like the stunt team and like the AD department. It's just an enormous, enormous endeavor to pull off. There's like three car chases in the movie, two of which are on freeways. So it's a lot of work. And it's a lot of things that could go wrong. And it's also just kind of like when you actually get the, your window to shoot those sequences, you've got to like, you've got to ace it. Like there's no, there's no going back, you know. I think like shooting on the I-85 in Atlanta, which is their major thoroughfare, uh, you know, we had like 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. and then it's like the police kick you off after that. How proud are you of the movie? I'm extremely proud of it. I mean, it's crazy having thought about it for so long that it's amazing to me that it's no longer up here, but like in theaters.